Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. Today has been just a mess. From the moment I got up, I mean, which felt like I got up at nighttime because it's so dark, dreary, shitty, and rainy out that I just felt completely discombobulated. Looked at sleep app, didn't have great sleep. I think it has to do with the weather. As we get older, we become more barometric in our existence and changes in the weather really make a big difference, especially when you're, you know, kind of broken. Shit doesn't work right, but it detects rain and crappy weather from miles away. So yeah, started off kind of like, eh. Went to go get my bagel this morning. I did the whole, hey, it's bagel Sunday thing. Went there, ordered what I don't usually get. This is the third time now I've ordered it and I've added extra stuff. And it's the third time that they didn't put the extra stuff on. Now, she warned me. She said, make sure you check it before you leave. And I just went with the universe thinking that, you know what, they couldn't possibly screw it up a third time. Got back, they didn't put shit on it. She was surprised that I went back because it's so shitty out and it's raining, but damn it, I paid for it, I wanted it on there, and they didn't do it again. So I went back and I was like, look, this is the third time now I've ordered this bagel, and it's the third time you didn't put any of the extra shit on there. Like, what the hell? She's like, oh, you know, well, I'll go back in the back. So they came out, said, hey, here you go. Okay, great. I left, got home, opened it up, and they still didn't put everything on correctly. And I wasn't gonna go back for that because, you know, no, nah, I'm not that insane. But I was definitely like, are you fucking kidding me? Come on, strike two. Then I decided that I was gonna film all this shit and I've been sitting around here all day not being able to do what I wanted to do because it's raining outside. I just, I can't do it in the rain. That's that. So it's gonna be like that for a while. The weather changes every time I look at it. Sometimes it shows it's gonna be raining for the next week and a half. Sometimes it shows it's not. So I'll figure that out when the time comes. For now, it's raining. Couldn't do what I wanted to do today. Strike three. Then I decided, okay, I don't feel like doing jack shit. So I didn't. And I sat here in my office all day watching a show called Laurel Canyon, which was on the music scene in Laurel Canyon in the 60s. Now, I don't even really care for 60s music that much. I sort of grew up in the 70s and the 80s and the 80s. Now that's my jam, 80s alternative. I'm all over that. That's what I listen to all the time. That's what I really wanna to listen to if I have a choice. Not really gonna pick something from the 60s, but it was at least interesting to see all the behind the scenes shit and, and how those people literally grew and how their music grew from what was going on at the time. So I at least enjoyed that, but that was like a three part series and I missed a lot of the first installment because I think it was like three one hour segments, but I ended up watching it to the end. So I decided to try some other stuff. Now, one of the things that I have done in the past is that I bought a pair of binoculars to take with me so that I can, I can actually go out and, and do some bird watching. I also thought, you know what? They do have this little contraption that you can put on the binoculars and you can attach a smartphone to it and essentially take a picture through the lens of the binocular and get it on your smartphone. Well, I tried it on my iPhone 13 Pro Max and every time I put it onto the actual telephoto lens, it would come into view and then it would go black. And I'm like, what the shit? No matter what I did, no matter what settings I tried, it always goes black. And I don't know why. It's not like it goes black when I'm using the telephoto lens without having it connected to the binocular, but it always does. So then today I thought, well, you know, I'm sitting around here trying to think of something to do. So I said, oh, you know what? I didn't have the S22 Ultra back then the last time I tried it. Let me give that a whirl. So I went through and I figured out which one was the telephoto lens, stuck it on there, pulled it up, got the flowers on the tree across the street into view, boom, screen goes black. So this is like strike six or seven today. And I'm just like, all right, screw that. In the meantime, when I tried to pull the contraption off, I pulled the rubber little eyepiece that, that is around the eyepiece itself. And the little rubber thing came off. And I was like, ah, shit. So I was like, I should be able to just shove it back on. Nay, I couldn't. No matter where I twist it or how I do it now, if I'm holding it so that the lenses are facing up and down, if I let that go, it just slides back down. It does not have those stops on it anymore, no matter how I twist that damn thing. Strike 15. So I'm like, okay, this is like absolutely ridiculous. Like everything is a major failure today. Screw it, I'm just gonna do my laundry. So I put the laundry in and I've been sitting here after the thing on Laurel Canyon, there was the history of A&M Records and that was a two-parter. So I missed the whole first part of it because I was off at three ships and everything. And I ended up just watching that 
the end of the first part into the second part. Now the doors are on and it was a dumbass movie. I didn't care for it. But I'm sitting here thinking to myself, all right, what am I going to do? I got to do a video. And I was like, all right, I put this contraption together and I haven't used it all that much. And I just keep going to the S22 Ultra and, you know, filming because it's very convenient. And I thought, eh, screw it. So I put the 35 millimeter lens back on, got this thing all set up, hooked up all the audio and everything. But ever since I updated the Atomos Ninja 5, it doesn't work the same. It isn't showing me all the shit that's on the screen of the camera, and I don't want to have to have the camera open because I have all the cables plugged into it shit and I can't see it all, but I used to be able to see stuff on the on the screen of the Ninja, including like my audio feed, and you know I've been having audio problems lately. So I went through and I was like, oh geez, the screens even look different. They're all completely changed and everything, and I was going through and I was trying to pick shit, and I was like, unplug the HDMI cable, put it back in, blah, 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 blah. And I'm picking all these things and who knows how I jack this up. Now I don't record to the Ninja anymore. I used to do that way back when, when I was shooting with the A7C. And for some reason to me, it just looked better when I did it on the Ninja. And then I just didn't do it because it was very convenient just to do it on the A7 IV itself because it could do it. And I had a fast card on it and everything was peachy. Well, then of course, you know how I am with firmware upgrades. I did the firmware upgrade and, and it jacked all the settings up and I don't know how the hell to do it and I just don't feel like taking the time. The other thing that's happening and it just happened now is that the screen on the Ninja keeps going out. So it keeps losing signal and I don't know why the hell that is. It's gonna drive me crazy. And the whole time I was trying to do the settings it was losing signal and everything. So pfft, strike 494 today. I just don't even give a shit anymore. There isn't really anything else that I'm doing today because it's just shitty out. It's just porn and I can't go out and play like I want to. I would absolutely love to go out there and do what I wanted to do in the first place or even just grab my cameras and go out to Pleasure House Point. That'd be great. That's pretty much all I've got. I, I'm not doing anything spectacular today other than laundry. And, you know, I'm surprised that the cat isn't freaking out that I have the door shut. But I just, you know, I felt like I put this thing together. The footage looks great. And I just wanted to, to use this today. And even though I'm just blathering on about how shit today was, at least it looks good, right? If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.